Kyron Anderson from the Imhotep Academy in the College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences at NC State University is with us once again. You've been a frequent visitor to the state side. Welcome back, Kyron, and you have quite an assortment of things to show us here today. But first, I want you to tell us a bit about the Imhotep Academy. Okay. Uh, Imhotep Academy was started five years ago uh, by Dr. Wandra Hill and uh, Dean Savage, uh, and we were housed in the Science House. And we're presently in, on Centennial Campus, mm -hmm. uh, which is very exciting because we have a new chemistry lab, computer mm -hmm. lab. So the students that we have within Imhotep, uh, which ranges anywhere from 50 to 55 mm -hmm. uh, for 10 week sessions, uh, we have an exciting time. We meet on Saturdays from nine to one. And uh, what we try to do is enhance the math and science from a, a hands-on approach. These are high school students? Uh, high school and middle school. We from all around the, this area? From, from this area. Uh, we've just gotten two from Kinston. Okay. And they travel in every Saturday morning. And, you know, we are reaching out. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we've been uh, active for about five years. And we're getting better as time goes on. Okay. I see the kids around campus a lot on on weekends, they seem to be very excited about what they're doing. Oh, we're extremely active as far as different community, um, community and mm -hmm. campus um, community activities are concerned. Okay. Well, what in the world do you have for us here? First of all, the pyramids. What, what, what kind of projects do you have? Uh, what do the pyramids represent here? Okay, the pyramids represent for me. M. Hotel was the architect for uh, the first pyramid right. that the world has ever known. Right. Also, the first skyscraper. Um, and it's called the Step Pyramid of Saqqara. Mm -hmm. And he built it as a monument for his pharaoh, okay? What, we, what we've done is we have the students make pyramids that they can build monuments to their African-American leaders, heroes, and sheroes. Mm -hmm. This one model, this is the way it starts off with simple cardboard. Mm -hmm. These are tools that you can find around the house. Sure. We emphasize the math and the science because, as we know, 5,000 years ago when the pyramid was built, Africans were scientists and inventors. Right. It, here we have a perfect square base. Right. So we have the students calculate what the area mm -hmm. of the square is. Also, we have four triangles which are joined, which gives them the area of the triangles. And then we can also calculate the total surface area of a pyramid. Okay. Usually afterwards, uh, after we've constructed one, we'll put on a small piece of paper like this, which highlights one of their... Okay favorite African-American scientists or inventors. And we have some products over here that have been developed by African-American scientists and inventors, right? What are they? Yes. Uh, tell, me what the, tell me something about that. Well, these. starting on the right, we have African pride. Uh, but the symbolism behind this is Madam C.J. Walker, who uh, was a self-made millionaire. And she also was the, uh, she was a chemist. Okay. okay. And she came up with the first form of hair relaxer, as well as uh, straightening comb and other hair care okay. products. Here we have an oil can, and this symbolizes the lubricating cup, because during uh, early times when railroads first came out, uh, the wheels and gears and everything would get extremely hot from the friction and heat, and so you'd have to go out and oil it by hand. Well, Elijah McCoy uh, invented the lubricating cup, which would actually drip the oil onto the gears, and then mm -hmm. the train wouldn't have to stop to be lubricated. And that was the real McCoy, right? The real McCoy, the right. slang term. That's where the term came from. Mm -hmm. right. Here we well, have... I uh, know what this is about, I bet. <laughs> one of our favorites, right. peanuts and peanut butter. And this represents George Washington Carver, right. Right. Um, one of our greatest chemists, educator, artist. Uh, he also came up with 300 other products right. from uh, peanuts, soybeans, sweet potatoes, etc. Here we have uh, first aid, and first aid represents, for me, several uh, areas, but more importantly, Charles Drew, who was responsible for blood plasma, finding the, the ability to separate mm -hmm. plasma, saving thousands of lives during wartime. He was also responsible for um, the British Red Cross. He started the first British Red Cross, and then he was brought back to America to okay. start the American Red Cross. And we have some other things here also uh, in our time that permits uh, the light bulb by the one light bulb by Lewis Latimer. Right. This small globe represents um, Henson, Matthew Henson, right. and Admiral Perry's journey to the North sure. Pole. We should have mentioned that Latimer invented the, what the uh, the carbon element in the light yes, bulb. Yes, right? the carbon filament, right. as well as he worked with. Um, um, the telephone and right. drawing up the blueprint. And the mop and the dustpan. The mop is uh, Mr. Stewart came up with the mop. Ah, okay. And we have Mr. Ray 
a low rate rate came up with a dustpan. And these are all household items that you sure. find in the home. Well, Karen, very interesting, and uh, good luck to you with the Emotep Academy with a real success story. And thank you for being with us on Thank Time. you. Yeah.